two Indian fishing trawlers had entered the Sea of Sri Lanka at about 11 last night and were spotted about two nautical miles off the coast of Point Pedro. The Indian fishing trawlers were surrounded by the Sri Lankan fishing boats and later handed over to Sri Lanka Navy. According to our correspondent, the Indian fishing trawlers were surrounded for about an hour. The Navy then arrived at the sea. The Indian fishermen and the two trawlers were taken into the custody of the Sri Lanka Navy and brought to the shore. As the Indian trawlers were attempting to evade naval units with their aggressive maneuvers, they also caused damages to the SLN fast attack craft. Officials attached to the office of the Deputy High Commissioner of India in Jaffna had met with the arrested Indian fishermen this morning. In a tweet, the Indian High Commission in Colombo said, Officials of the Consular General of Jaffna met with 21 Indian fishermen and provided consular assistance including immediate relief materials, phone calls with relatives and other forms of assistance. This incident was reported against a backdrop where several protests were staged in Jaffna against the illegal encroachments by Indian fishermen into Sri Lankan waters and fishing in the sea of Sri Lanka using illegal fishing methods. Although Minister of Fisheries Douglas Devananda attempted to intervene in this matter during a protest staged in Point Pedro yesterday, this was the response he got from the protesting fishermen. Meanwhile, the bodies of two Sri Lankan fishermen who were reported missing after they went to sea from Vadamarachi had washed up on the Maradankarni coast yesterday. The local fishermen suspect encroaching Indian fishermen connected to the deaths of these two fishermen. Local fishermen staged protests against this incident as well. This was the situation that arose when the Minister of Fisheries, Douglas Devananda, visited the area this afternoon. A cabinet paper will be presented to provide compensation to the nets that were damaged during this incident. I am of the opinion that trawler boats must be stopped. They are asking for two to three years for this. I inform them that I cannot give them a single second. The boats that were seized are in good condition. I will give some of those boats to you. You can go and capture them or ram them. You cannot go in small boats and do anything. This is my plan. I have not asked you not to. I spoke with the president as well. The security council is meeting today. The president said that he will advise officials to arrest them. Those things will be done properly from today. That is all I can say. You must give us a written undertaking that things like this will not happen in the future. We cannot believe things that you say like this.